Hi, it's Rowan from SourcedOutSI.net again. Just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to fix snow that's sometimes left behind when doing a cutout. Um, now, I've just opened up one of um, Sports Interactive's images from Football Manager 2010. Um, it's from the Bristol City Pack. Now, as you can see, um, for all intents and purposes, this looks like a, a really nice cut. Um, there's, it, it, there doesn't seem to be any, any mess around the edges. Um, however, if you look on um, a dark coloured background, so if you've got a dark skin, it will show up this um, the, this weird snow sort of effect around the top of his head. Now to get rid of that, um, it's quite straightforward, um, simply go to your layers menu here, um, click the lock transparency button, which is that, um, and then it's a case of going to the clone tool, um, set that to darken, um, and around about 60-70%. Um, now, if you hold down Alt um, key, and you get this target, um, point that to a part of his hair, and then simply drag and colour in the the snow that's left behind. Um, as you can see, it's darkening only his hair, and it's not um, it's not going over the edges um, and colouring any any of the transparency. So, if you just work your way around that. Um, Maybe even slightly darker. That's kind of fixed that problem. Um, you can also use it for the skin as well to give a slight, as you can see, it's a little bit rough around the edges here, so you can just go on the edges all the way. and it's given him a slightly smoother finish to it. It's worth spending the time if you can.